The gallbladder is a pear-shaped organ beneath the liver. The liver will produce the bowel and store in the gallbladder. And not only storing the bowels, the gallbladder itself will concentrate the bowels. So when you eat the food, the stomach will send the signal to the gallbladder to contract and excrete the bile into the intestine to digest the fat. So usually there will be three reasons for causing the gallstone. First, you have too much cholesterol in the bile. Second, you have too much bilirubin in the bile. And the last one is your gallbladder does not contract correctly or properly. Commonly, there are three types of gallstones. The first one is the cholesterol stone, which was caused by the undissolved cholesterol presented with the yellow color. And the second one is the pigmented stone, which was caused by the excess bilirubin in the bile presented with the black or brown stones. And the last one is a mixed type stone, which can have the component of both cholesterol and bilirubin. There are several risk factors of gallstone, age over 40 years old, female gender, patient with certain blood disorders, obese patient, the habit of having high fatty diet, and with the patient lose weight quickly. Some patient who had the medication which contain estrogen such as oral contraceptive pills or hormonal therapy. So usually I classify the patient who had the gallstone into two groups. The first one is asymptomatic and the second one is symptomatic gallstone. For the asymptomatic patient, it means that the patient has no symptom at all and find the gallstone from the ultrasound checkup or investigation for the other symptoms. In symptomatic gallstone, I usually classify into two, two locations. The first one at the gallbladder itself. If you have a stone obstructed the outlet of the gallbladder, the patient may present it with abdominal pain or sometimes you feel discomfort at the right upper quadrant or epigastrium area. About the severity of the pain, it depends. Sometimes it's very mild pain or sometimes it's very severe pain. And if you have the infection, which was we call the acute cholecystitis, the patient will present with severe right upper quadrant pain with the fever. And the second location is outside the gallbladder, which is the bowel duct. If the stone drop from the gallbladder into the bowel duct, it may cause the obstruction of the bowel duct. And the patient will present it with the jaundice or sometimes the abdominal pain. And if the patient has an infection, which is what we call acute cholangitis, the patient will present with the high fever, which is sometimes life-threatening. And also the pancreatic duct that drain into the bowel duct, if the stone obstructs the pancreatic duct, will cause the patient to have the symptom of the severe epigastrium pain, which was we call the acute belly pancreatitis. So the surgery of the gallbladder, it means that we will do the gallbladder removal or what we call the cholecystectomy. Currently, we have two types of operation, the open technique and laparoscopic surgery. So about the technique of the laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Currently, we have the 4K system with high resolution, providing the better quality of imaging. In some complex or difficult cases, we had 4K and ICG. To enhance the surgical precision and patient safety while minimizing possible complications. When you compare the laparoscopic cholecystectomy versus open technique, the laparoscopic surgery will have a smaller incision versus the larger incision of the open technique. Due to the small incision, the patient will have less pain, shorter hospital stay, less wound complications, 
and faster recovery.